morning everyone so today is a very wet it's still warm it's not windy it's just a very wet Wednesday morning now I've been up since 3 30 <laughs> my dogs decided to have a little barking fest I'm not sure what at I started I noticed look my camera's all over the place I noticed around five o'clock this morning that it was thundering and lightning so maybe they could hear it way off in the distance maybe that's why they were barking I thought maybe it was because someone was on our driveway now about three weeks ago someone had stolen our catalytic converter from my husband's car and I told him that maybe they might come back and try and steal it again because obviously these people know that we were going to get it fixed you can't drive without one so he got it fixed four hundred dollars later and when they started barking at 3 30 in the morning i was wondering whether they were on our driveway stealing it a second time now i wasn't about to go out there and look because i don't know if whoever stole our catalytic converter the first time round, whether they carry guns or not i don't know so i thought well if it's the case then they've got a second one from us but i think they were barking at the thunder and lightning but it's really dark and wet and i love it it's very autumnal vibes here but at the moment i'm on my way to dollar tree i need to pick up some items i'm gonna go and have a little look around and see see if i can pick up something for a project for a sunday video oh look our gas prices there you go, 467 a gallon. Premium 512, that's gone right down. In the summer I was paying five dollars and eight cents, I think, for um just regular unleaded. So our gas prices have come down quite a bit. This is the weather, this is what we're looking at today. Okay, I think this phone's a little bit wonky. I really need to sort something out. I've got it propped up on a pile of napkins. It's in a proper um like holder for the dashboard but I don't know if my phone's just too heavy for it or what but it keeps sliding out so I've kind of I've jimmied it with a stash of um napkins so hopefully it won't fall over anywho just came out of Dollar Tree that wasn't terribly successful I had gone hopefully I was thinking hopefully that I would get inspired come up with a project but I couldn't see anything that I really wanted to buy so I'm gonna go back home and I'm gonna have a coffee and maybe that will wake me up. So onwards and upwards with the rest of the day. Okay, today we are using the vanilla caramel because I used to pour the pumpkin. And this one is just as nice, I think. Maybe even nicer. Right, coffee time, let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little break here. All systems are go this morning in this house. First off, ignore my makeup. I look completely orange, I don't know why. I looked back at a clip earlier and I was like, I look like I've been tangoed. Do you remember that commercial? Anyway, so ignore that. So I've got a project on the go here. That's gonna be for Sunday's video. And then I need to work out something for the following Sunday too, because we're gonna be going away for a little break, we're going to Mexico. Um, I haven't planned anything, I haven't packed, I don't know what I'm taking, I'm completely disorganized. I've got two birthdays in between now and leaving, and I still have to go to work for a couple of those days, so. I really need to get myself organized <laughs> and the thing is in my study I have a huge whiteboard that I write everything down and it's all looking lovely and it's planned then I have a calendar right next to it that I hand write everything on and my work schedule and everything but I never keep to it <laughs> so I don't know why I bother I, I will do another plan for October and we'll see how uh, how I keep to what I wanted to say to you guys was I actually watched Miss Caroline's um, video this morning when she was talking about Marks and Spencers and how their prices have suddenly hiked up I literally had a conversation with my British friends yesterday well we're on a group chat so I told them that I had just left Old Navy 
Now, Old Navy and Target are pretty much the, my two go-to stores if I want to buy something. Um, if it's a special event or we're going out somewhere fancy, I'll go to like Macy's or somewhere. But for everyday clothes, t-shirts, jeans, anything like that, sweaters, I will go to Target and I will go to Old Navy. Now, I haven't really paid attention to prices, so I haven't noticed a price difference in Target. But let me tell you, it was like a slap in the face when I went to Old Navy yesterday. I was in there and I was looking at a, a shirt jacket, a shacket. Really nice, nice and thick. I mean, it was great quality. Um, really nice colors, design, everything. And when I looked at the price, I nearly fell through the floor. It was $85. Now, that is not Old Navy prices. So then I went and looked at the little kiddie clothes for my grandson and I looked at size 40 for a little pair of pants like little canvasy pants with like a drawstring $25 and I thought what are you doing old navy you're supposed to be like your adverts and your commercials are like family you group the whole family together in the clothing and even when you walk into the store they have like mannequins where it's mum dad son daughter dog and they're all dressed in like matchy matchy clothes and i thought well i can't afford this this is crazy well i just happened to be going to the thrift store straight after it was just coincidence and yeah i bought a shirt there for eight dollars so i'm going to show you that in a minute i'm going to drink my coffee first but yeah i'm uh really shocked at old navy and that's my go-to place for jeans i didn't even go look at the prices of the jeans but i usually buy them when they're on 50 percent off and i think i pay like 20 bucks for my jeans so um yeah i should have gone over there and had a look really but uh anywho no time for clothes shopping at the moment unless it's from a thrift store so yeah let me drink my coffee and i'll get back to you and i'll show you what i got from the thrift store so this I found in the men's section. Um, it's really nice and thick. It's called Redhead Brand Company. Let me show you real quick. And I paid, oops, six dollars for this. I thought it was eight, but it's six. Completely oversized. Let me try it on real quick. Obviously, I'm gonna have to roll the old sleeves up. But for six dollars, compared to 85 at Old Navy, this is a bargain. Sorry, but this will have to do for me for a shacket. I'm gonna give it a good old wash. But yeah, when you're in the thrift store, go check out the men's department. They got really nice like sports tops if you're into that kind of look. Um, even their smaller size blazers, I've tried on in the past. Um, now I did find a jacket I'm going to show you next. Yeah, I really wouldn't pass up not going and looking in the men's section when you're looking at clothes. But yeah, what do you think? $6? It's all right, isn't it? Right, let me show you the jacket. Now, I tried it on when I was in the thrift store, but I couldn't look in the mirror. So I don't know whether it's too boxy. And that's, ten that's what I tend to find when I put on blazers, that they're, they're just, they hang over too much and they're padded and they they just look boxy so I end up looking like Frankenstein. <laughs> so let me let me try this on. But again, look at the look at the colours. That's completely awesome right there. Now this was Sag Harbour Petite. Let me show you the now this was eight dollars. Okay, so I got the two prices mixed up. What do you think? Let me go look in the mirror real quick. Okay, yeah, I don't think this is too boxy. Let me know what you think. Um, I mean, the padding comes right to the end of my shoulder, so I actually think it's a pretty decent fit. Um, and it comes down, I don't know if you can see, it's a good length, and it actually does up, which is surprising. It's got pockets too, $8. Now I'm gonna go get this dry clean, so I'll probably take that there today. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. Good morning, good morning. Today is Tuesday. We are off to the grocery store. My choice of grocery store is Smith's. I do go to Albertsons every now and then, but 
I don't know, I like Smiths. I like the people that work there and I know pretty much my way around. Every now and then they try to trick me and change things up and move things around, but yeah. Um, I need to get some face wash, which I normally get from Target. I really don't want to go to two different stores, so I'm just going to get it from the grocery store. Hopefully they have my brand there. It's only a little inexpensive face wash. But yeah, I want to get some fruit and I think I can't make up my mind whether I want to do Asian dinner tonight or whether I want to do Mexican. Hmm. I'll probably decide when I get to the grocery store. All right, and today is a glorious 92 degrees in Las Vegas. Woohoo! It's starting to chill down. It's really, really perfect first thing in the morning, like at 7, 6.30, 7 in the morning. It's absolutely perfect. I think I'm going to do Mexican tonight. I'm going to buy this fajita skillet sauce mix. But I see they got taco and enchilada. Hmm. Actually, they got quite a lot. I've never used a sauce before. Oh, Mexican black beans. Spicy refried beans. It's the international um, international aisle, but generally all they ever have is Mexican. Ooh, this is what I normally order when I go out for Mexican. And this is the drink I always ask for. It's like a cinnamon milk drink. Um, so I'm gonna buy this and see what it tastes like. I have no idea what this is or that. I think it's maybe some sort of iced tea drink. If you know, let me know. Um, but yeah, I've had that millions of times and it's gorgeous. So I'm gonna get that one. And you know, when we were in Mexico, their hot chocolate was lovely, but I'm not gonna buy this because I'm trying to watch my pennies and that's 4 79 we do have some regular hot chocolate at home but I know sometimes they put chili in their hot chocolate so yeah maybe that's the um the way I should do mine back from Smith's I spent $71 so let me show you what I got for $71 okay um bag of frozen dark cherries blueberries pineapple um I also got Greek yogurt. So the frozen fruit is going to be for uh, breakfast smoothies. I also am trying, I don't think I've tried this one before, creme brulee, uh, my morning coffee treat. So I've run out of creamer, so I've chosen creme brulee. They had a Grinch one, a uh, Grinch cookie flavor. I'm not sure about that. So um, yeah, maybe I'll try that one at Christmas. I got a dry, slow churned classic vanilla ice cream. That was on sale for $2.99. Let me put that in the freezer real quick. A bag of Satsumas. We also got an onion, two tomatoes, a green pepper and a red pepper. Two limes, a mango. When I buy mangoes, I'm never sure whether they're ripe or not. This one's a slightly tad hard with a, with a touch of squidginess. So I'm hoping that the scent is not rock hard. But yeah, mangoes, I'm hit and miss when I buy those. If anyone's got any tips on how to buy a good mango, let me know. Uh, one avocado. Then I bought the white corn tortillas. These were like a dollar twenty-nine, and there's thirty in here. Does anyone know if you can freeze these? Um, because it's just me and my husband, and we would never get through these before they go off. I'm sure. So if I can freeze these, let me know. Um, and I've also treated myself to this horchata mix. Um, I'm gonna make this later and hopefully it's as good as the Mexican restaurants. Um, yeah, so we'll we'll make this later. Um, tonight, dinner, fajitas, I went for this sauce. This was, 
This was 330, I believe, for this mix. I've never used it before, so I'm gonna give this a go. Then, oh, I've never bought these before either. It's the Zesty Salsa Refried Beans. Usually I just buy the plain ones, but I thought I'd give those ones a go. Now, multivitamins. This is what I bought. If you can recommend me a brand, these were $14.99 and there's 130 gummies in here. If you can recommend a brand, let me know. I know that Fashion Mumbler did a video on dietary supplements and it's a company where you can go online and you can actually speak to someone virtually for like 10 minutes and they can give you a breakdown of what you need and what you shouldn't be taking. And I forgot what video that was, so I need to go back and uh, find where she's talking about that so I can research, go on the website and see um, what that's like. But for now, I'm just gonna go with these. So yeah, these were $14.99. Uh, mouthwash, I buy this brand. It's called Thera Breath. And lastly, my face wash. It's just a cheapy one, it's $3.99. Uh, morning Burst Facial Cleanser and it's oil free. No oil for me. No siree. So all this was $71. So I think what I'm gonna do is make me a smoothie because I haven't had breakfast yet. It's 10.40. Go ahead and have breakfast and then I'm gonna cook my dinner and just get it out of the way because after um, the school run, after picking up my granddaughter, I'm helping my daughter put up some curtains in her house and then I wanna come back and I just wanna chill. And I think I even might make a margarita tonight. So, right, let me put all these away and have a smoothie. <sighs> right, got some ice in here. Then we're gonna go for, I think I'm just gonna do blueberry and pineapple, not the cherries. Am I in shot? Um, I don't think I'm gonna do the cherries today. Um, yeah, we'll just do blueberries and pineapple, some Greek yogurt. I feel like I'm missing something. Honey. Honey, honey, I'm going to Greek yogurt first. And I never use measurements. That is my failing in life. Pretty much with all my cooking and making drinks. So I'm going to do one large, two large. made way too much way too much my glass is full already so i've had a brain wave i'm gonna pour it into a baggie and save it for tomorrow i'm gonna put it in the freezer so this is really refreshing i can't really taste the pineapple as much as the blueberry and it's just the right level of sweetness too now so I'm just going to put this in a Tupperware box, put it in the fridge and pull it out at dinner time.
Now, when I looked up the recipe, it said jalapenos, but it's also said any type of pepper can be used. So I'm just gonna go back to my old bell pepper and chop this up really small. this is done so now I'm going to cover it in cling film and put it in the fridge until dinner. Now this recipe also does call for cilantro. I don't have any. I don't also feel like popping back to the store. So unless my husband wants to pop back, um, it's gonna stay like this. I'm also gonna cover this and I'm gonna cover, I'm gonna lay this down flat, cover the king film tightly packed over the guacamole so it doesn't turn brown. Just like if you were trying to not get a film over custard. And there's plenty of lime juice in there, so it really shouldn't go brown. Okay, pop that in the fridge too. Right, I've done the school run. I've hung some curtains. Well, I didn't hang the curtains. I actually just put the rods up. And it is hot. So guess what time it is? It's margarita time. Um, I just looked at this. My friend bought me this for my birthday back in June and I haven't opened it yet. We're gonna crack this open and it says it's ready to serve. So I guess the tequila's already in there. Let's give this a go. Um, I have my margarita glass that she bought as a set. So thank you, Fiona. Um, I'm gonna do this with crushed ice, I think. Usually I go for a slushy, but I don't wanna get my um, liquidizer out again. So I'm gonna go with crushed ice. Oh. I guess I should give it a bit of a shake. And this is mango flavor. Ugh. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh, I can smell it from here. It smells so delicious. I was working in the window, obviously hanging the curtain pole and that sun was streaming through and I was absolutely sweating. This is really good. Mm. Cheers, everyone. Right, let get this dinner started, haven't I? Give this a go. I'm gonna try the guacamole first. Delicious. The pico de gallo, I think, is missing a little bit of salt. And it's also missing the cilantro. It needs it. All right, let's get one of these fajitas. I would definitely buy that sauce mix again. Turn to finish it off. Mm. Lovely. Right, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my meal. I want to say a massive thank you for watching. I'm going to end this video now. If you did enjoy, consider subscribing and becoming part of this family. We're growing here. And uh, watch some other older videos of mine. Thank you again and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye.